They have, oh, it's froze. I'm going to say, good, they have something in here to. Yes, this for Susie and Nacho. Looks like I've been gone a while. Can you see the mold? See, this TV comes on all by itself. Oh, and I got to get these two baked. You're going in the oven. No, I don't want to go in the oven. Hello, well, Muppel fans. We finally got the kids off to school. Oh, I got to get ready and head out, get Amanda something to eat, and do switching of the guards. Let's see what today brings. And let's look at the weather. Ooh, it's overcast. Okay, I'm heading out. It's all quiet. Got Amanda tucked into bed and got the dishes cleaned up. So, my work is done here. Okay, I'll load it up and look. <laughs> Bird poop, leaves. I think I gotta run through a car wash that don't even come off. <laughs> come on, and trees and... All right, I gotta get going. Okay, I got some gas and they have, oh, it's froze, I'm gonna say good. They have something in here to wash the top of my car with. It's just stuck on there. Oh dear. I've been scrubbing like 10 minutes. This is hard to get off. I don't know if it's frozen or just what's going on. But that got the majority of it. So cold. My hands are frozen. All right, hopefully this car wash will finish getting it cleaned up. All right, here we go. <laughs> Foam bath, it says. You gotta pay attention. Oh, what a morning. Uh, Little Ollie did not want to go to school, didn't want to leave his mom. We're telling him to be brave. My goodness, that's noisy. Telling him to be brave and to, he's got to do this. And finally, we got him to go to school. And then when I leave, I'm crying. I go, you got to be brave. Like, what am I crying for? I thought, Mandy's husband's home. We got everything taken care of. But I just want to make sure she's all right. Oh, so mothers cry too, and even when you're all grown up, you still cry. Say ultimate wash. Oh, okay, now that's coming over. Hopefully, this gets it done. Yeah, I thought, oh, if I can just get through this and don't forget, <laughs> it'll be a week tomorrow. I mean, it'll be a week, yeah, on Wednesday in two days. Oh my gosh, it's kind of scary in here. But I'm going to head home, try and get some uh, Minky blankets done. Didn't get them all off, they're just stuck on here. See, they have that window wash stuff and some paper towels. I'll see if I can get the rest of the stuff off. Man, that stuff is stuck on there good. I scrubbed for quite a while. Couldn't quite get all the bird poop off, but that'll just have to do. This is, looks good. Okay, note to self, do not park under a tree because you just never know what's gonna fall out of there. Okay, I gotta head home. I got a lot of work to do. The neighbor took care of the animals for me. I just planned on being gone three days, but I was gone six. So he went over on Friday and took care of it. So nice to have somebody that you can call and just say, hey, will you go check on this for me? He knows the drill. He took care of him while I was in Hawaii, so he knows what to do. And yep, and that song of Judy's mother's cry in heaven. I know they do. They sure do. They cry here. There was nothing I could do for her when she would just burst into tears. Oh my gosh. I wish it was over. I said, there's nothing you could do. We just got to go forward. But she's getting around good. And Oh my gosh. You're probably thinking, is she crying again? <laughs> oh, well, I made it home. Actually, it feels good to be back home. I didn't know how I would feel coming back, but it feels good. So I'm just checking on the animals. The cats were out of food. And let's check on the rabbits and the 
It looks like Fred's out there working. How we doing? You out of water? All right. Let's see. Got to gather the eggs. Yeah, they got food. He's got to get their water for them. I go through my mail, and I got a new Wii. And I can't remember what this is. Personalized. Oh, I think it's for Nacho and Susie, a Christmas present for them. So that's what that is. All righty, let's get to work. Go out and take care of the rest of the animals. Yeah, this is for Susie and Nacho. Do not open till Christmas. It's got their names on it. So my sister Lisa had ordered some t-shirts. The tree maintenance people are coming Saturday. It looks like I'll be gone, but it says make sure I have the padlock off. We have had a fire before. We've had um, fires before with uh, fires with the wires. That rhymes. Looks like we got 13 eggs. I just got to wash them off. Hey, the eggs are all washed up. 13 eggs. Hey, that's we got married on the 13th. Cool. And I always, I can't eat this many, so I always take them over to the neighbor. Tell them thanks for taking care of the animals. <laughs> Looks like I've been gone a while. Can you see the mold? Uh, the chickens will love this. Oh, the city's here from the tree company, trimming tree. They got to trim the trees back there. I thought they were coming. I said, I thought you were coming Saturday. They said, no, last Saturday. So they came back Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I said, well, I've been gone. My daughter needed surgery. So sorry about that, guys. Let's see how they do. So we're gonna cut some trees, see how they do. They probably are, already cut the neighbor's trees. Well, let them do their work. Okay. Yeah, they want to get that big branch. I don't know. He was pointing it in that tree and stuff. He wants to go up in the tree house. So he don't want to use a ladder. I said, Yeah, go for it. It's strong enough. Fred build it strong enough. Cold, cold. I'm glad they're getting that done. They came a couple months ago to ask if they can do that. And I said, yeah, go for it. It needs to be done. I remember, I, I told you earlier, we had actually had a fire. And I called the company, I called the city twice. I, I said, we've had two fires. Luckily, we were home. I said, you got to come and cut the wires back, the branches back from the wires. And, and um, uh, luckily, we were home to put the fires out. It wasn't in my yard, it was in Fred's yard and then the pe people behind us yard and we'd get the hose and put the fires out. And, and um, one, the uh, chickens got electrocuted. They were drinking water and they were dead in the cage. I says, you guys, we've had two fires, two dead chickens. What if that was our children that had got electrocuted? What if we were asleep when the fire started? Uh, you guys got to come out and cut those branches away from the uh, from the wires and they wouldn't come out and finally I thought I've got to save my children I cannot let this happen so I called up the city and I said I'll just climb up there and do it cut the branches back because I I can't have this going on and within five minutes they were here at the house I go, oh that's all it needed so I've called three times to have you guys come out and and all I had to say was I'm going up to do it <laughs> I go okay now I know what to say that rhymes I want to see oh the TV's on see this TV comes on all by itself every now and then I I think it's Papa oh turning it on it used to be my mom I thought it was uh, but now I think it's Papa oh I want to spy on him Let's see, but I don't want them to know that I'm watching them. Okay, he's up there in the tree house. Let's see. I don't want him to see. Okay. Down the bridge. You see him? They've got their ropes set up. That way they can come cut without getting ladders out, he said. He's on watch duty. They said they'll clean everything up. I'll we'll cut that one. Not sure why they're cutting that one, but the kids will love that for volleyball. That's okay. Comment below what you guys think about TVs coming on by themselves. Looks like they're just cutting little branches. And I leave Papa O's light on. 
because <sighs> he always left it, had it on in here. Looks like the rest of the house is pretty quiet. Wonderful. Oh, I can watch him good from this window. Maybe, huh? Don't let a branch fall on you down there. They were excited to go up in the treehouse. Oh, I hear noise out front. They're shredding the branches. Just little ones, it looks like. Don't look like they're doing big ones. Hmm. Nice of them to clean up. Let's go see if I notice anything different. Not really. You wouldn't even known that they were here. <laughs> well, oh, they trimmed up there. It was kind of growing up there, but they didn't really cut a lot back. Alrighty then. Don't have to worry about them anymore. And it is done. Hello, a lady just stopped by to visit. Look what she gave me. I had her daughter makes these trees. And look at that, me and Joe dancing. Of course I cried, oh my gosh. She just left, we visited for about an hour and a half. She, her husband died of cancer about two and a half years ago. And so we just compared our stories and I heard her story, she heard mine. Just cry on each other's shoulders. And then for her to give me that, she said somebody gave one to her and she wanted to get one for me. And I said, we met at a dance. Oh, that beautiful. Oh, and I got to get these two baked. You're going in the oven. No, I don't want to go in the oven. <laughs> You'll never get me in there. Oh, I got to stop talking to myself. So I got to get those baked so I can have pumpkin during the year. <laughs> Dear. Let's check the pumpkins. Well, there's a lot of pumpkins in there. So I got to get these seeds out. I'll do show you my DIY on how I get these out. I save the seeds, just salt and pepper them, Mrs. Dashes, and some oil. And I'll cook those after these are done. And here's the pumpkins done. See, it's just really soft. Then I'll just scoop it off the skin part and just mash it up like mashed potatoes and then just put it in bags to freeze. And the pumpkin seeds are in there. Seeds are done. I just need to I smash those up and just need to bag them and put them in the freezer. And we will close the day for the day with a couple of quote with a with a quote. Who does not thank for little will not thank for much. If you don't appreciate little stuff, you're not gonna appreciate a lot of stuff. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And never look for that one. Was a million.